Ash Shop, Direct Deposit, Wildly PPP, SBA Loans. My name is Quentin Banks. I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest information. If you are new to the channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. That way you guys are entered in a giveaway. That also you're in tune with the latest and greatest information because you guys know I keep you guys updated with the latest. So let's get right into this. I know a lot of people is questioning um, Cash App. It does look like somebody was actually receiving a direct deposit through Cash App and it doesn't look like it went through. So um, let's go ahead and get this going. You know, let's get some more information um, for you guys. Now, if you guys got Cash App, please let me know in the comment section and we'll get right to this. It does look like this guy said i thought cash app accepted ppp i've been waiting a month for this and it doesn't like it was failed now i'm not too sure about um cash app and also i'm not too sure about you actually receiving receiving a direct deposit that says failed i know a lot of people was asking me about cash app and as far as i know people have been getting funded through cash app so cash app looked at some point to be a good thing to get funded through now um i can't call it but um, let's read some of these comments. That way we can uh, break down and get a little bit more as far as when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to all of this. Because we got to get some clarity on this. Somebody begin to say, wow, mine, um, wow, mine went through with no issues, no rejecting or holds. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people get approved easily. I ain't going to say get approved, but they didn't have any issues um, getting that through the cash app at all somebody said it's a business bro trust i made sure everything was on point they said that is messed up yeah man i don't know what to do now they even said they accepted deposits of 25k or less somebody said same thing happened to me they told me the reason was because i need to verify my address and i had to have an activated cash app card which i ordered and I have yet to receive it so that may be the case if you guys got cash app Make sure you guys actually have, um, I've been hearing a business account, but if not a business account, at least make sure that you have a, um, a card through Cash App. That way they know um, you're a business. As the last comment said, it's a business. You know, everything's a business. It's business oriented. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure everything um, is written the right way, right? You know, you're dealing with the business, you're dealing with, um, you know, you, you, if you're a business, you should have a cash out with the business account, you know, um, just to keep it professional. Somebody said, that's crazy. How did you uh, verify your address? They begin to say driver's license with your address the same. Um, driver's license with your address, the same address that on cash app or lease or bank account or bank statement uh, can I do it now or have to wait till money hit the account now that's another thing as well if you guys are doing this you want to make sure your bank account whether it's your bank account whether it's your um, you know your identification whatever you're using it has to all match up and that's one thing that has to that has to um, be correct that it has to match up guys I will contest for that everything has to match up especially when it comes to your address because you know if it's, they're running like a business but these uh, these machines and these checks that they use don't always um, you know self approval so let's say if if you got the address and your address is off by a number or a letter you will get denied or we, because it has to be it has to be um you know it has to be the same guys it, it really has to be the same um someone said that's crazy cash app have a number where you can speak to someone question mark thanks somebody said mine was like that friday up and i still haven't been funded uh and mine is a business account how do I make Cash App business from personal? Somebody said, I would advise you to use Cash App if you barely have activity. Good chance they will deny it. And that's very true as well. So you guys want to make sure, um, you know, you guys want to make sure at least anything that um, you got activity on there, you know, because they will look at it as well. Like if you don't have activity, 
they may deny you as well with the instant. You know, they want to make sure your activity is there for sure. They want to make they want to make sure your activity is there, um, especially when it comes down to it. You know, just making sure everything is everything is perfect in the way it should be. Somebody says easy. Just switch it over. Press personal. Scroll all the way down and press business account. Okay. Somebody said, yes, I saw that and changed the business. It had a little building icon beside my name, but I don't see change button to personal anymore, but it's fine. Somebody said, did it pin first before <clears throat> failing? Nope, nope. You only waited a month, LOL. Try waiting three months and having your bank hold it, even though you've uh, banked with them your whole life. I'd be happy to be in your spot. Very true, because a lot of people were waiting like I said, months, not just one month, two months, you know what I mean, they've been waiting months for that, so, I mean, that's true in a, that's true in a sense, um, but it's a waiting game, guys, it's definitely a wait, from what I'm hearing, what people have been telling me, it's more of a waiting game, um, a lot of people had SBA numbers, loan numbers, and they still had to wait, so, it's just one of those things, it's just really just one of those things, where it's tough, um, Somebody said, that's more like it. I was going to say, if you applied and they attempted to fund within a month, you should be jumping up and down with the joy. Their whole UBI is so messed up. You think it's a limit to to the number of times they can try to find you? Um, no, they want to oh, fund you. I should say. Uh, no, they want to fund you. They'll try again. Just contact Cash App ASAP. You know, just cash. Uh, try to contact Cash App. Especially if you've been, if they're trying to fund you, you know, you got to understand they are trying to fund you. So that's probably the best thing to do is to contact Cash App, you know, especially if they're trying to fund you guys, you know, they are trying to fund you. Um, Somebody said, I do, I had it six months. I used it for my customers to send payments to. I'm hearing the uh, Varro will about it. Not Varro, except not about. Uh, name must match. Trust me, everything is how it's supposed to be. Somebody said business. Yep. Did your Wombly status go back to UBI? No, I believe have to wait till funds are sent back. They said they don't accept everybody. It depends a lot on how frequently you use your cash app. They will say anything, but that's really what it is. Somebody said I had it six months, you know, and, and if you look at it, that may not be a lot of time. You know, if you look at six months and then you want a deposit of uh, $20,000, you know, they may say that, you you, you know, that, that, that could be enough for them to say, well, you haven't been a, you haven't been in business for that long. We can't, <clears throat> you know, they can't do it, you know. Uh, I'm a person beginning to say I did say unusual activity. You have to have received or sent 12k plus beforehand on Cash App for them to believe you frosters. I'm part owner of a store called Dailies in Miami, Florida. No need to hate. You will be funded soon. Scrub. Somebody said cool. Send me 2k. You know, somebody said, someone help me understand why some of you are using the Cash App for PPP funds disbursement. I mean, why not get an account with a reputable uh, FDA-approved financial institution? They can actually walk into and withdraw your funds from your business account, which is true as well. You know, but some people, I guess, just don't have the time to do that. Let me know in the comment section where you guys stand, your guys' comments. Have this ever happened to you guys? You know, me personally, I've never seen anything like this, but it's really going on. You know, I will keep you guys updated, of course. With the latest and the greatest information, my name is Quentin Banks. Stay loyal, stay blessed, stay true, stay you. Finally funded, Ben's Worth. My name is Quentin Banks. Let's get right into this. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about Chime, about Ben Worth, Wompley, Blue Acorn. Hopefully this update will actually bring some light and some positivity to your morning. If you are new to the channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe because a lot of people are asking me, well, what's the best way to keep updated with your updates? The best way is actually subscribing and then also turning post notifications on. That way you are in tune with the latest and greatest information, guys. Now, um, I'm going to make this sweet 
simple, short for you guys. Because um, a lot of people ask me about this fund, this, this thing about getting funded and um, about Ben's worth and the Ben worth actually stop funding, the Capital Plus stop funding, um, like exactly what's going on. So hopefully this will actually bring some um, some insight and some light to you guys and hopefully some positivity and just remain positive because no, just know that this um, this whole funding thing, it is complicated. Trust me, I know it is, it's, de it's definitely complicated, but um, people are getting funded, you know, so keep that in mind as well. People are getting funded and also people are getting um, their funds as early as this morning. So if you are ready on your funds, maybe try waking up in the morning. Uh, this morning check your account if not you can go ahead and, and check your um, your account tonight but it does look like as we said it does look like people have been getting updated now if you are new to the channel of course make sure you drop your comments below let me know exactly how you guys feel about this um, and actually let me know where you guys stand because I know some people are still waiting and you got some people who actually um, have been getting funded now this was a member of my channel who actually let me know hey, um, I'm funded, you know, so that's that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and um, get right to this. Let me go ahead and pull this up for you guys. Um, yeah, once again, my name is Quentin Banks, and let's get right to this. They begin to say, finally funded after four months. Don't give up hope. Just stay patient and keep working. You will be funded if it is being processed. Womply been worth um, lending. So there you have it, guys. People have been waking up with their funds. And as he said, it's been four months. Some of you guys can't wait four days, let alone four months. But I totally understand, guys. You know, you, you, you got to understand it. But in the same sense, um, he's waited four months. And as I talked about in one of my other um, videos, sometimes the best things come at, at a surprise. You know, some people actually stop caring about this. And they actually, um, they stop caring and then they actually... Um, were were funded you know what i mean so uh it sucks trust me it sucks but sometimes that's actually how it works you know once you stop caring about something now it wants to care about you, you know you know how that works right this wants to care about you and all that good stuff right so um this person was funded and then somebody asked when you get funded uh just now and they said yeah this morning they said uh which bank which bank how long was you on borrow funded? You got the email last week. Congratulations. And they began to say yes. There is hope. Thank you, Lord. Congratulations. And patience to all of us. You know, so you guys just want to remain patient. And that's probably the best thing to do. But just know there have been a lots of updates going on about this. And um, people were stating was PPP extended? What exactly was going on? You know what I mean? All that stuff. And it does look like people have begin began to be getting funded. So um, that said, guys, check your emails. Sometimes they will send email updates to your emails. Um, not standing all the time, but for the most part, it does look like they have been trying to reach out to people through their emails. Um, drop the comments below. Let me know where you guys stand. And this whole bunch of congratulations, they began to say, I got that email last Thursday, was on BF for about a week and a half. So um, they sent out an email last week. I'm not 110% sure as far as what that email said because every, I guess every email was different, but there was a few e people receiving emails where they said the emails were different. So, um, and it just stated there was a like, not like a glitch, but there was a delay in processing. So um, that's one thing to take in consideration, especially when it comes down to um, getting borrower funded and, and all of that good stuff, because you guys gotta understand, they are dealing with so many customers